This is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. President Uhuru Kenyatta and Opposition Chief Raila Odinga face a massive headache in Parliament after the Kenya Kwanza seized the leadership of the bicameral house. There have been indications that Uhuru, who chairs Raila's Azimio La Umoja coalition top decision organ, could lead oversight of Ruto's administration. However, after President-elect William Ruto's allies were elected to the pinnacle of legislature leadership, Azimio opposition faces a big test. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. After what appeared to be a walkover election for speakers Moses Wetangula and Amazon Kingi of Kenya Kwanza on Thursday, the two are now staring at a tough balancing act as they settle down to work. Wetangula and Kingi will come face to face with harsh realities of presiding over house businesses amid a sharply divided parliament. The two were elected to the National Assembly and Senate having received massive support from members. Interior CS Fred Matenye said security teams were falsely accused of scheming to manipulate and interfere with the August 9th general election. He defended the officers saying they put up a stellar and professional performance in supporting the IBC to conduct the polls. In a three-page emotional letter, Matenye took refuge in the Supreme Court's judgment, which he noted did not indict any of the teams of any wrongdoing. Opposition Chief Raila Odinga has suffered a major blow after key political and community leaders from Kisi and Nyamira counties joined President-elect William Ruto's Kenya Kwanza camp. The latest move could enable Ruto consolidate the country as he seeks to craft a government with a national face after his swearing in on Tuesday next week. On Friday, immediate former Kisi Governor James Ongwai and Abagusi Council of Elders Chairman Araka Matundura led a host of former MPs for talks at Ruto's current residence. Police in Baringo have detained a man suspected to have chopped off a girl's neck, killing her on the spot on Wednesday. Residents of Kaptalam village in Seretun in Baringo Central are still in shock after the assailant Thomas Kiplagat alias Kipsotok 25 killed Rachel Jalimo Chepkoni 17, a Form 2 student at Seretun in Mixed Day Secondary School. Police said the suspect who is married with two kids and shares a fence with the family was caught by the girl trying to break into their store to steal a sack of beans. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.